The Last of Us Part 2, which received mixed reviews. Critics praised the game while normal people were so infuriated by the story that they gave it low scores out of anger. But is the game really that bad? Can the bad story of a game make a game crap? How is the story in the game more important than the gameplay? Let me tell you my thoughts of the game. You know me if you've seen my reviews that I'm very story oriented. I don't like games without a story because I feel like the game doesn't have a purpose. And I like a good story in a game. And with The Last of Us Part 2, I admit that the story is crap. But that doesn't change my opinion that the game is very good, gameplay wise. But until we get to the gameplay, let's finish what is there to tell about the story. Naughty Dog took an awesomely written character and literally spit on him. Of course fans were infuriated. I was infuriated too. This is no way to kill a character. Nobody wants to see a character we all love lying there like a roadkill. And some stupid prick spit on him and called him pendejo. Of course people were infuriated when they saw that Joel dies. Also I hate the Joel-Ellie relationship. The game explains through flashbacks why Ellie doesn't want to talk to Joel anymore. Joel was constantly lying to her. I wouldn't want to be around a liar either. But here is where Naughty Dog fails. Why write such a character? Why did they turn Joel from a responsible father figure to a crazy lying wreck? Why did they had to ruin what they did great in the first game? I mean, I get it that after the ending from the first game, The Last of Us 2 makes sense. It's a logical follow up of how the story ended in the first game. But they still could have written it better. But aside of the Joel parts, which were complete bullshit in my opinion, the story was pretty okay and I dare to say even pretty good. But there's a catch. You see, the best way to describe the story in The Last of Us Part 2 is with a Tony Hawk analogy. Remember when in Tony Hawk you did that awesome combo score and then suddenly you fail and your combo goes down the drain? It's the same here. The story has a nice build up. You like the story. And then some bullshit happens on screen that makes you say that the whole story is bullshit. Like for example here where this lady thinks it's a good idea to go on a bumpy car ride while being pregnant, participate in shootouts while being pregnant and even bumping her belly on hard edges because the baby will just turn out fine. The game is brave. It tries stuff that other games haven't. Problem is, the brave stuff is put in a stupid manner. So one advantage of being pregnant, low center of gravity. I'll take your word for it. But if you're like me and ignore the horrible story parts and focus only on enjoying the game, you will succeed. The game story is 70% very good. It's just those horrible plot moments that feel like a kick in the balls. But hey, if you get past them, the rest of the build up is nice, aside of the ending which will let you depressed and finally say, man, this story was bullshit. But aside of the story, the gameplay is a masterpiece. There are so many little details in the gameplay, it's amazing. And the game looks amazing too, it's one of the best looking titles on the PS4. And as I said, this game is filled with attention to details. From the difference in recoil when you play as Ellie or as Abby, to Abby's fear of heights when you look down. And when you loot a gun, you can see the gun being unloaded on the ground. And at workbenches, every upgrade has a different animation, which is a big improvement over the previous game. You can craft new items, and the gameplay has the same gameplay formula. You solve puzzles, engage in combat, and admire the beauty of the game. Too bad that the story bails. But even if this story has horrible written moments, I can't say that The Last of Us Part 2 is a bad game. I enjoyed it. Maybe it's my skill to filter bad stuff out and be happy about what is good. But I enjoyed the game. The gameplay has remained as solid as in the first one. And the graphics are eye-catching. The story is good in between the horrible. I will give the game a, let's say, a 7. The gameplay and graphics are amazing and gameplay wise and graphically the game sure 
is a masterpiece, there's no doubt about it, but the story drags the game a lot. Also unlike the first game, The Last of Us Part 2 has no multiplayer. I just wanted to point it out. Not that it will be relevant, I mean a game like this doesn't really need a multiplayer, you play it for the story. Well in this case you don't play it for the story, you play it for the good gameplay. But yeah, the multiplayer in the first game was surprising, I didn't expect it. But the franchise doesn't really need a multiplayer, I mean it's cool when you get it, but I wouldn't punish the game for not having it. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.